Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So, what I've ended up doing is I've created some auto installers for Bridge Commander. The main reason I did this was that there was quite a few people who had trouble installing the mods, and I thought this might help them out really. So, what I've done is, as the base installer, I've got Kobayashi Maru, which includes all of the plugins that you need really to mod Bridge Commander with. And then on top of that, I've made add ons. So, basically, you can just Install Kobayashi Maru, and then install whatever add-ons you want. And basically with the add-ons, I've included ships. So for example, I've got a, the Stargate pack. Uh, I may do the Delta Quadrant pack. And I've also created my own mixture of ships as well. And now in terms of mod creators, um, if any of you aren't happy with me putting your ships in, that's fine. I'll, I'll happily remove them. But a lot of these ships go back gosh 15 16 years ago maybe longer than that so i'm not really sure people are that bothered and i'm just doing this to help people out basically so i'm going to show you how to do everything so i've just installed bridge commander now one issue i have with this and i'm let's just see if it does it so yeah i get this straight away now there's a very easy way around this so yeah we'll just okay it Quite a few of you have told me that you've had that error as well. So we go to the actual folder. So program files, GOG Galaxy. Uh, Bridge Commander, obviously. Now right click. Properties, compatibility mode. Put it in Windows XP Service Pack 2 and run in 640 by 480. And you'll have no issues getting into it. So I just want to make sure the game actually works first. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Let me try again. There we go. For some reason it didn't take it the first time. Oh, that's loud. Right. Let's just turn that down, actually. So, Bridge Commander's working. Now, these mod installers that I've made... They're actually compatible with the GOG Galaxy version, as I think that's probably the one that most people are playing with. So in order to get that, uh, if you go to my website, which by the way, I'm not the best web creator in the world. It's kind of bare bones right now, uh, but it's at www.retrobadgergaming.com. If you go here, then go to auto install mods. So the first one that you will have to install is the Kobayashi Maru Auto Installer. So we'll just click that. Download. Okay, so once you've downloaded that, I've just put it on my desktop there. Now one thing to mention, your virus scanner might throw a bit of a, hit, a hissy fit as um, it doesn't like, they don't like EXEs basically, but you may need to just temporarily disable your virus scanner, but I can assure you there are absolutely no viruses in this whatsoever. Uh, so double click it. And as you can see here, it's defaulted to go to where GOG Galaxy has installed Bridge Commander. And just click on zip, basically. And that's it. And now we wait. And once that's copied everything over, I'll show you what to do. Okay, so that's basically installed now and unzip successfully. So close. Now you can launch it from here or you can launch it from the menu. But we'll just launch it from here. Okay, well that was a very good sign. We saw the Kobayashi Maru intro movie and we can see there. So now all we need to do is sort out the low resolution and we're good to go. So let's go to configure, additional resolutions. Now I run mine in full HD, 1920 by 1080. So let's click that. Now this will crash the game, but it's perfectly normal. So here we go. Got the crash. Let's give it a minute to close. Okay, now we can load it back up. And here we go. So we're in full HD, 
Star Trek Bridge Commander Kobayashi Maru. And I'll just show you quick battle. Quick. Let's have a look. The reason I did these installers was just to help people, as um, quite a few people have issues with the copy and pasting, because sometimes it can go in the wrong folder or something like that. But Kobayashi Maru will add so much stuff to the core game. You have to install this. It's brilliant. And uh, now, yeah, let's see. So look at that. What a massive upgrade to the stock version. Now, there are other giant mods as well, but this, if you start off with Kobayashi Maru, I'm going to bring out ship packs probably once a month, which you can just auto install on top of this, and it'll give you more ships, basically. Now, there are other mods like um, Bridge Commander Remastered or the original series conversion mod. Uh, there's a few others as well. Now, they're not compatible with this, so... If you do want to install any giant mods, I would recommend doing a separate installation, which is a bit messier, but it is doable. But I'll make a video about that sometime as well. So if you have any issues or problems, uh, just comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.